Ever look back at your old photos and think, what was I wearing? <laughs> Just like fashion, web design trends come and go too. What was hot yesterday can make your website look kind of neglected today. I'm Paige, and today we're diving into the 12 web design trends that have gone the way of the flip phone and what you should be doing instead to keep your website looking fresh and functional in 2024. And just for a little bit of playful fun, do keep track of how many outdated looks your website is currently guilty of, and I'd love if you share that with me in the comments at the end. Okay, so our first outdated design trend is full width banners. I love Nomadic Matt, but this trend on his website right now is a good few years old at this point. So here we can see it's just the top of the page, a whole going from side to side, wall to wall, one photo. Typically there is some text over top and a button and everything, and we can see that happening in Matt's website here, or also in this old um, website template, same thing, the Lady Nomad template, you can see just a full width banner is at the top of the page. Now this is a little bit outdated, I would say, and instead I find what is really on trend these days is let's say sprinkled photos, smaller photos throughout your banners. So this here is a Squarespace template and it nails it beautifully. There's sort of like one main color background and then we have a few photos sprinkled throughout, not necessarily aligned or anything, a very unaligned look and it looks really fresh. We can say that if we go over to the Copy Bar Collective, same thing, we have a few different images happening here. The one is actually a video, and again, sprinkled throughout, not one photo, wall to wall. And same thing here on Heather Talbert's website, same thing as I go through here. She has a few less photos, still the text and everything happening, solid color in the background, and then she also has it here too where she sprinkled these pictures, and this looks really, really fabulous and modern. Over to Tim Ferriss's website, he has both the full width banner happening and also the second outdated trend, which is a sidebar. Sidebars really have gone out of trend in the past few years. Yes, they're good to show your bits and pieces and calls to action and books and all those things. But to be honest, it does make your website look a little outdated at this point. So instead of the sidebar, what I would do at this point is just nothing. Some nice white space or having your content fill up a bit more of the width of the page and just say adios to the sidebar. Another thing that was very typical and trendy back in the day on websites was to list out your services or your offerings in a way where you have some sort of like graphic image. So say we have these circles happening here. We have strategy, campaigns, and coaching or over on this template, guidance sessions, workshops, and speaking. Having your services laid out in this way does feel a little dated to me. And so a much more modern way of doing things is over here on the Philosophy of Leisure website. We have some images, we have some blocks of color, we have the details of the service, but there's sort of more as you go down the page, you see the different offerings and they're just designed in a way which is a bit more elevated, a bit more creative. We have a variety of different font sizes and types happening here. We have an image, we have the blocks of color, we have some text which is actually happening sideways. This looks a lot more modern to me as a way to lay out your services or your different offerings. Another trend which is out is what I would call basic color backgrounds. We can see in this website here we have a full width brown background. Going on to the next section is a full width gray background. These aren't as visually interesting. Websites tend to have a bit more creativity to them these days. And something which is similar, but just ever so slightly different and elevated is when you have a border around your section. So we can see that this is a one color background happening here, but there's also a white border happening around the edges and that looks really modern. So as you can tell from this one, sometimes your website doesn't need an entire redesign. Just a few tweaks here and there can really make it look a lot more with the times. Outdated design trend number five is scripty fonts. If we're here on Melissa Griffith's website, you can see that her Hey There font, it looks like handwritten. And this is actually something which truly everyone was doing a few years ago, but isn't as common now. If we also head over to the Female Entrepreneur Association website, there's also a little bit of sort of like hand-drawn scripty looking font that says to help you build a wildly successful business. That would actually be really fabulous if they would switch it over for something like what I'm calling the mega font. So here on Jenna Kutcher's website, we can see her ginormous text. Also, if we head on to Jasmine Starr's website, her name is in the ginormous text and slash, or if we go down to the speaking section, you can also see it there again. And that is really something which is looking very modern right now. 
If by the way you're thinking, okay, I know how to design the font on my website now, but what do I actually write? And where do I put what copy on the page? Then click below to download my homepage content planner. It is the exact content planner that I use for every single website I build. And it was also shared exclusively with students of my Square Secrets course. So be sure, click the link in the description below to grab your copy. Design trend number six, which is out, is icons. So we can see here the let's launch, let's manage, let's chat, the little coffee and clipboard and light bulb. And over here on this template, they also had the same thing. This, again, super common a few years ago, really makes your website look outdated at this point. Whereas here at the bottom of the page on Ashlyn's website, we have a little what looks like an abstract sort of squiggly, quickly drawn line. Something like these little abstract touches sprinkled throughout the website. They're nothing specific. It's not an icon. It's not anything, but it's just a little abstract touch that can look really good these days. Okay, now out of all of the design trends, which I think will give away the fact that your website was built five or six years ago, the most is this one, and that is alignment. Having everything perfectly aligned. So we can see here we have the different like course topics, and these are all perfectly aligned side by side. They're all the exact same ratio and everything. When we go down to these sections here, it all is perfectly aligned in a grid. Having this look on your website is kind of a telltale sign that it hasn't been updated in a while. And instead, the vibe right now is all about unalignment and sort of the items sprinkled throughout the page. So as we can see here, we have two text areas. One starts higher than the other one. As we scroll down the page, we have a vertical image beside a horizontal image. They're purposely having a bit of blank space happening above the horizontal image, so it isn't aligned up exactly to start where this vertical image does. As we scroll down the page, we can also see it here on the featured on the journal section. We have three different images and the font is happening just below the image and because they're cropped to different ratios, they also look very unaligned. This look is a little bit harder to pull off, but honestly, if you follow the guides and look at some other similar website these days, and you decide to make a layout similar to one of their sections, this can look really, really good. Design trend number eight, which is out, is staged photos. So as we look at these two images here on the left and the right, it's very, looks like it was exactly prepared for this picture. We have laptop and we have notebook and we have candle and we have pen and then we have a woman putting something on the wall and it just looks very planned out and very staged. Same thing if we come over to this website template. Again, this doesn't look like the most natural photo in the world and neither do these ones here either. When we head over to Shanna Skidmore's website here on the left-hand side, she has a fantastic photo. It's a little bit abstract, it's a little bit blurry, it's a little bit hard to fully even understand what you're looking at, but it also does look beautiful. Here on Dropcap Design, the photo on the right-hand side, we can see that this image is, seems to be taken through some glass or a window that may be a little foggy, and that also gives it a very creative look and feel. Coming over to madebynf.com, there is an obviously very intentional blurry photo happening on the right-hand side. And over on the Feather and Twine website, we have an image from a wedding. Now this one could honestly go one of two ways. It looks a little bit grainy, which you could say maybe the photo quality wasn't that great, but I actually think in this case, it was intentional. Also, when I scroll down to this image here, again, very abstract, very creative. This photo on the right also looks like an intentionally blurry image. When done intentionally, these abstract, creative, more blurry or even grainy photos can actually look really, really good when mixed in with some really well shot ones. Design trend number nine. For this one, I will just show you the better options. So this one is a touch of something dynamic in your website. As we can see, the image happening on the left, it's not too much, it's not the entire website that is crazy and things are moving and things are changing, but it's just one little piece of something creative and dynamic happening on the website. If I go over to elizabethhallevents.com, we can see that there is a video playing and again, it's just one touch of it. The whole page isn't like this. There's just one piece which adds something a little bit more dynamic to the page. And that looks a lot more modern than something which is just every single piece of the website is static. The next design trend which is in is what I call interesting movement of the page. So while I'm scrolling through the top of Lexi Han's website, it's normal movement, normal movement, normal movement. This is what you would typically find and is more of a design style that you would find previously. But as I get to this section here, you can start to see that interesting movement is happening on the page. The left is staying static, the right is having some dynamic movement happening, and that looks really modern these days. 
If we head over to the Tonic Sight Shop website, we can also see as I scroll down here that there is some interesting movement happening with the iPhone and the laptop scrolling over the content of the page there. Now, this is a design trend which, if overdone, can be very confusing for your user. So I would say to use this one, but use it sparingly and just a touch here or there on your website. Another trend which is out in the female entrepreneur space is the sort of girly, over the top pink type websites, the ultra feminine look like this one here and also this one here. Instead, what's in is what I would call mature and minimal. There is a lot of beige happening on websites these days for female entrepreneurs, and that seems to be the style direction that female creative entrepreneurs are taking. We can also see, again, this more minimalistic and mature look over on Lexi Han's website too. Now, while I love the design of this website and it is currently on trend, I will just say that my prediction for the next website trend, which is on its way out, is actually the all beige background. For the longest time, we always had white backgrounds on websites. It has more recently changed to all beige. I feel like this has just been so, so, so done in the last one to two years that my prediction is that the all beige background is going to be the first trend that we're talking about to actually make its exit. I find that the harder and faster a trend comes, the faster it also leaves because it is just too overdone and everyone's website starts looking the same. And I think for the all beige background, that's probably the one that's exiting stage right the next. And just like that, we've swapped our virtual shoulder pads for something a little bit more timeless. Now do tell me in the comments how many website changes you're going to be making after hearing all 12 outdated website trends. Now, one video on website trends is great and all, but if you really want to be a successful website designer, it's gonna take a little bit more than just knowing how to make current on-trend websites. You're gonna need to know about how to find clients, how to manage projects, how to set your prices, all of those things. And if you're watching this video before April 15th, then you are in luck. I'm hosting a live event, the Profitable and Productive Web Designer Bootcamp, where for three days, I'll be sharing all of the things that you need to know in order to start and grow your web designer business. Now there's a link in the description below where you can register. Do know that this is one of the very few free live events that I host for web designers in the year. So again, if you're watching this before the 15th of April, trust me, go register. In addition to all of the amazing education you're gonna get at the event, I'm also hosting a giveaway. One lucky event participant will win the ultimate web designer starter kit. Basically, I'm gonna pay for your web designer client contract, your CRM system, and Canva Pro for a year. Last year, Shannon won, and she kind of couldn't get over the fact that she actually won something, and this year, it could be you. Again, link with details on the Profitable and Productive Web Designer Bootcamp is in the description below, and on that page, it also has all the details on the giveaway and how you can enter for that too. I cannot wait to see you there live. You, my friend, are going to love it.